Guys, you know when you're on a tight deadline and you get stuck on a boring repetitive coding task, or when you have a great idea for a new feature, but the thought of wiring up the whole backend and frontend kills your momentum? We've all been there. JetBrains is known for building professional developer tools, and I've been testing Juni from that exact angle, seeing how well it supports real, day-to-day -day production style development. I'm Daniel, and in this video, I'll show you how Juni works, from simple refactoring to building entire features. We'll also take a quick look at how it can be applied to real-world existing projects. This isn't just another code completion tool, it's a true programming partner. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. Let's get into it! Alright friends, let's properly define what we're dealing with here. Juni is an AI coding agent that lives natively inside your JetBrains IDE, like IntelliJ IDEA or PyCharm. It's designed to take high-level instructions and execute them, handling a wide range of tasks. Now, let's be real, the AI landscape is crowded. Guys, we have chat tools that are great for generating snippets, but they often feel like a black box. They're fast and smart, but unexplainable. You get a block of code, and you have no idea how it arrived there. That's fine for a hobby project where you can afford to rewrite things, but it's a non-starter for professional environments where a single bug can impact millions of users. Folks, that's where Juni really clicks for me. It's aiming straight at professional, real-world development. Juni focuses on being an AI partner that writes code you can follow, test, and trust. So what does that mean in practice? First, transparency. When you give Juni a complex task, it doesn't just start coding. It first creates a step-by-step -step plan and explains the logic behind each step. Guys, you can see its thought process. Second, context awareness. Unlike many tools that only look at your prompt, Juni is aware of your entire project. It reads your existing codebase, your package structure, your configuration files. This massive context allows it to deliver solutions that are not just correct in isolation, but are integrated and coherent with your project's architecture. And third, friends, ecosystem integration. Guys, this is a huge one. Juni isn't a separate website you toggle to. It's built right into the IDE you're already living in. It's also connected to external platforms like GitHub and GitLab. This means you can delegate tasks asynchronously, manage multiple jobs in parallel, and keep everything in sync without the constant context switching that kills productivity. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Alright folks, let's roll up our sleeves and see how this works in the real world. In one of my existing TypeScript projects, I needed to add a backend API from scratch. I open the Juni tab and give it a clear prompt. Now watch what happens. Juni doesn't just spit out code, it first creates a detailed step-by-step -step plan. Guys, you see it reasoning through the process. It needs to review the repository and design the API endpoints. Then implement authentication with password hashing, create token-based authorization, and build all the CRUD operations. On my repo, the plan was basically what I would have written myself. I only adjusted a couple of endpoint names to match our internal conventions. This transparency is fantastic. You're never in the dark about its approach. Then, the real work begins. Friends, you watch as it creates a complete server with an in-memory user store, secure password hashing, token validation, and all the authentication endpoints. It automatically adds CORS headers, error handling, and full CRUD endpoints for tasks scoped per user. I spun it up, tested the endpoints, and everything worked cleanly without me having to chase down stray edge cases. But we're just getting started. Guys, the real power shows when you expand functionality. With the backend complete, I can immediately follow up with a new task. Watch this. Juni adds user email support, implements a notification utility, and extends the task model with notification tracking. Then it creates a background scheduler that scans tasks every 60 seconds and sends notifications for tasks due within 24 hours. Finally, it builds a dashboard endpoint that computes real-time statistics grouped by priority and completion status. In my project, this extension landed smoothly. I mostly just tweaked the email copy and one config value. 
folks, going from zero backend to a feature-complete API with auth, notifications, and analytics in one seamless workflow. That's the game-changing experience Juni delivers. So after all this testing, who would actually benefit the most from bringing Juni into their workflow? Friends, I see it as an incredible asset for developers who find themselves constantly bogged down by the scaffolding of development. If you're a backend engineer tired of writing yet another CRUD controller and the accompanying tests, Juni can automate that entire flow in minutes. It's perfect for building out those initial prototypes or MVPS where speed is crucial. Guys, for full stack or front-end developers, this feature is a massive time saver. You can describe a UI component or even an entire page, and the tool will build and integrate it automatically. It also includes the correct data fetching logic. It handles the glue code that often slows you down. And folks, for team leads or senior developers, think about the standardizations. By using the guidelines file, you can essentially encode your team's best practices and have Juni apply them consistently across tasks. This is a powerful way to maintain code quality and onboard new developers more quickly. Friends, it's also for anyone who is curious about the future of software development. Using a tool like this gives you a first-hand look at how human-AI collaboration might work, preparing you for the next shift in our industry. Alright folks, let's wrap this up. Juni is a tool that shows what practical AI-assisted programming looks like today. It's not about replacing developers, it's about helping us code smarter. It handles the repetitive parts, allowing you to focus on the complex architecture and the code you really enjoy writing. What stood out to me personally is how engineer-friendly the whole workflow feels. The upfront planning plus deep project context makes multi-step tasks way more reliable than I expected. And the places where it shined most for me were refactors and feature builds that normally take a bunch of careful, boring glue work. Have you ever used an AI coding agent for a serious project? Share your experiences in the comments below. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.